do comedians have groupies? Yeah, man. Like on the road, like groupies, like show up to the show. Hey, man, this look in his face like big. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are they hot? No. Well, they are. <laughs> <laughs> They're married. Right. Real 92.3, LA's new home for hip hop. Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. All righty, Felipe Esparza Felipe. back in the neighborhood. Okay. Pleasure to see you. What's up, fool? What's up, fool? What's up, everybody here? Man, Thank how are you, you doing, What's bro? What's up? What's, What's up, up? fool? <laughs> hey, man, Felipe, do people expect you to be funny all the time? Because you're not slapstick funny. No, they, but expect, you're, you're they do expect me to be funny or they expect me to take a photo with them. Right, right. You don't take photos with people? <laughs> I do. Right, right. I ask them. <laughs> I ask them before they ask me. I heard that. Like, hey, sometimes they're just like you know they're looking. trying to they're hiding their phone, you know, like a gunslinger, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you say? You want to get a picture? You want to take a picture, man? Oh yeah, can I? Of course you could. They're already ready with a filter. <laughs> right. oh, yeah. Hey man, when did What's Up Fool start for you? Do you remember like? Man, I was doing a show in um, Huntington Park at a place called Daily Planet, uh -huh. which oh, is yeah, now a Denny's. I remember Daily Planet. Eighteen and over and. Back then, the security guards were dressed like Zetas, bro. Right. Damn. They had guns, dog. They had right, guns on their side guns. <laughs> they had more guns than the security guard at King Taco. Bro. Right. <laughs> that fool be having a sidearm, a gun in his um, in his hip, on his on his ankle, a baton, a lightsaber, a machete. Oh yeah, a lightsaber. And, and um, there's always a fight that you, he just starts throwing his pepper spray everywhere. Right. Hey, hey man, and, and rest everybody in peace. Thinks I remember that guy he got killed in front of the club. And, and, then, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. and then everybody starts thinking they're talking about here. Put some on mic. <laughs> so is that where it started? Did they have a comedy night or? Yes, and I met this girl who lived there, like in Cudahy. Uh huh. And um, I don't know how ghetto her bro her um, brothers were, uh -oh. but everybody answered the phone like this. What's up, fool? He are won't you talk to serious? Him. Like, not even a hello? <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I wouldn't have never so I to said, pick um, her up. He said, what's up, man? What's up, fool? He said, man, can I speak to your sister? Then um, she came on the phone, what's up, fool? Oh. Like, it was like the whole what's up, fool family, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> the food chances. Yeah, man. <laughs> and then uh, my sister would answer the phone at that, too. What's up, fool? So, you know, it just stuck. On, stuck. But Thanks. you know what? What's up, fool? Is like not only is it West Coast or Los Angeles, it's universal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And, and now, anytime I see you or we greet you, everybody been saying "What's up, fool?" Probably for a lifetime. For a lifetime. But it's like you own it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I see. And is this "What's up, fool?" gear or is that a sticker? That's a sticker. I want right? to cover it up. <laughs> they ain't giving me no money. Yeah, yeah. So, so you took the uh, the brand logo. name and you put your logo over. Yeah. It. I heard that. What's up, fool? Yeah. <laughs> now, will you make any uh, what's up? I can see the three strikes. <laughs> you know, me vida loca. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. So, so will you go into what's up, fool gear or any merch coming or what's happening? We have um, a bunch of T-shirts. Right. We have a shirt that looks like El Pato sauce, but it says El Vato on it. Uh-oh. Mm. Yeah, that sounds like a We got them in three, fla three colors because there's three flavors. Go ahead, yeah. man. Green. <laughs> Red and yellow. <laughs> hey, man, so will you encourage us to get the What's Up Fool stickers and put them over our logo so that way you don't have to make a full sweatsuit, a full warm-up? <laughs> That's, That's what we got to do, it, man. Yeah, yeah. all right. <laughs> so we'll get, a, we'll get the bundle package there. Man, and we've had this conversation. Felipe Esparza in the neighborhood, man. Comedy Was comedy low-hanging fruit for you, or did you have to, like, try everything else, and then you ended up in comedy? I tried a lot of stuff before stand-up comedy, security yeah. guard, and I, I worked at the Dodger Stadium. It seemed like you mm -hmm. wouldn't care at the front door. No, I wouldn't care, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to watch uh, television, man, like parking lots from a far away. Right. I see a lady getting robbed, you know, just change the channel. Right. <laughs> <laughs> None of my business. Like and he was like, she don't look familiar to me. Or back in the day, they used to have D-Tex, where you got to walk around and swipe the, the building. Yeah, the, the, it was like to let people know that you were right there, yes. and it was like a really? timer. Yeah. And your security guard will keep a, a log of it. So they still do that now, but now it's computerized. Mm -hmm. So you touch it like that. But when I was doing it, it was old school, man. You had a key, and you, what you do was all the buildings had a key hanging. And then when you you had a little box. Yeah. And then when you put your key on it, you turn it, and they know you were there. Timestamp. It's like yeah. it's oh, when you're gotcha. roving. But what I did, though, man, uh -oh. I found, I, I timed it how long it get to every key, and I took all the keys down, and I had it on my table. 
So every hour I'll be like, all right, trying to turn this key. So I'll turn all the keys on my desk. Right. <laughs> what? You, you showed them. Hell yeah. <laughs> this dude. That's why you didn't last in that. Now, now then you had to go into comedy. You know? Yeah. But you worked comedy. at Do- you worked at Dodger Stadium? Yes. I was work- I was making um <clears throat> hot dogs. Really? Nice. Yoshinoya. I worked at Taco Bell when they had Taco Bell. Right. Hey man, but huh. you so at Dodger Stadium, all the restaurants. Did you ever take like the Dodger dogs home, or were they always accounted for? Man, there are security guards that watch the Dodger dogs. That, that make sure you don't take food home on the way out. Wow! Like they be they be like, what time they caught this old lady? She had like a bunch of hot dogs in her oh. sweats. Oh. <laughs> Was she gonna eat them? No, I'm just playing. You know? <laughs> hey man, but it's crazy that they will watch you guys coming out, but we can get beat up and stomped out in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and nobody sees that. Because there's no profit in a, right. in a beating. <laughs> you know, yeah. beatings are free. Yeah, man. But if you take food home yeah. and give it away to a homeless guy, you know, you're giving away profits. Right. Profits, you know, it's more, it's cheap. It's better to just throw it away know, isn't and that count crazy? it as a loss than give it away. That's That always trips me out, man, when they be like, oh, we got to throw it away. I'm like, damn. And then mm-hmm. people get sick, you know? Yeah. That's How true. long did you work at Dodger Stadium? Man, I worked for like... Six years. I started off as uh, as a f- one of those people that sells um, souvenirs. Uh huh. I would walk around saying souvenirs. <laughs> Get your dodge of programs, <laughs> bobbleheads, hell yeah, pennants. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they walk around down the aisles, you know. So, so it was what, like, what, was your heart in it though? Or? Oh yeah, man. When oh, I was okay. doing that, they were pills. back then, not now. Before like um, corporations came in and started mm-hmm. buying little pieces of Dodger Stadium. Um, the 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 merge was done by the Dodgers, right? And they were paying us cash at the end, at the end of the night, yeah, sixty <clears throat> percent, no, or like oh, for every dollar man. we would get twenty cents. Real? Oh, so you yeah, that make you want to hustle? Damn. Yeah. So if I sold like four hundred and sixty dollars worth of stuff, I get like eighty bucks in man, cash. Go ahead now. So I was like, man, I was hustling, man. Hell yeah, Dodge, selling and. And at the end of the game, looking for wallets, everything. (laughs) Hey, man. Yeah, so when you do walk the stadium, you'll see a lot of stuff that's left over. Yeah. Damn. Like, um, because I would walk around before the the cleaners, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there'll be like a wallet, you know, like somebody like got up and their wallet got stuck (laughs) behind their seat. And at no time do you look at the, uh, the license and mail it back. No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? Look at Here the I am monies. You asking me stupid ass questions. Get the cash. Uh, yeah. And then you get yeah. the wallet to security. Hey. I found his wallet right here. It's all sad. <laughs> all sad. <laughs> hey, man. Did you ever see people that left back like the merchandise? Because I remember one time I took my wife to a, a Beyonce concert. And we bought this stuff and we left it. Oh, damn. And I was like, oh, Someone came man. up. Yeah. Did you ever see anybody that left like... Dodger merch jerseys or yeah, but I'm um, usually somebody picks it up and gives it to their kids like they bought it, you know. All right, yeah, just fake their kids out. Yeah, That's you always the hang. I, I remember when I was working there, they kicked two women out for kissing. Really, that was back in the days, and it's still out there. Like they were kissing, and they kicked them out for kissing. Damn, damn were they on the kiss cam yeah. or just? Damn. Oh yeah, you can't even do that now. No man. Hey man, well, what? how do you get around the cancel culture? You know, Me? because yeah. Well, I'm not famous enough. Right. <laughs> right. You can't cancel me. Right. right. How you going to cancel me? You know, you can't cancel someone that's uncancelable. Right. <laughs> it's like when people go back through all my tweets, you know, all they're going to find is bad grammar, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> man, he can't right, spell. Right. Good well, luck. you are uncancelable. Hey, man, how many kids do you have? Three. And what's your youngest? A youngest? Yeah. Philip. And how old is Philip? He's like 20 something. Okay, damn, I heard that. So when we had, like, my kids, is my, my oldest is. What'd you say? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? Is I said, he? Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, what? my son is 15, my daughter's 13, right? And 15 years ago, we didn't do gender reveals. Or I didn't. I never heard of anything like that. Now they're everywhere, bro. Mm-hmm. They're, they're always sad, too, man, especially when a guy finds out it's a woman, a right, girl, baby. girl. Like, he's holding a football. Right. They, have to take, they have to take the football to the neighbor's yard. <laughs> He's never going to see that again. Yeah. There was a video 
So just recently, the guy we hit the baseball. The he, fat dude. Uh, I don't know if he's fat, oh, but right. he, he went and hugged his guy friends before hugging the mom. Whoa. And so people were mad at him for that. Yeah, yeah. you can't do nothing right, man. You can't. You can't uh-uh. do nothing right. Plus, every everything now is on social media. Yeah. Yep. Everything's recorded. Con- everybody has a, an opinion. When you do your live shows, do you av- do you allow cameras in your live show? No. Yeah. Because it's always a bad recording of my stand-up. It doesn't really represent what they're really watching. Mm-hmm. So it goes all bad on, a, on their story, and people are hating. Like, hey, man, what are you watching? Right. <laughs> or somebody, yeah. you know, a young comic might get inspired by that joke and then do it, you know? Yeah, uh, man. Yeah, how long probably. have you had a no, no camera policy? I guess since Chappelle started his. Right, right. But Chappelle does it different, and Kevin Hart, I heard that they... You they lock him in bags. In bags, yeah. Yeah. What do you do? Just tell him to turn it off. I just tell him to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> go down the road. So somebody will tap him and go, "Hey man, what are you doing?" <laughs> yeah. The homie look out. The but sometimes man, they get back. all loud. Like I was doing a show and there was a Mexican dude in Texas with his wife. She had a boom mic, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Try, trying to get the. She had a boom mic. The yeah. Boom leg. He was recording. And his kids were craft service. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> wow. Hey man, what do people tell you the most when they meet you, bro? Like because I've never seen it. It's like not. It's like you're not a character. Like you mm-hmm. are you. I remember I saw this one clip where it was something at Dodger Stadium. And you were just walking around, looked like you were lost on the field in the background. He was with George. I was yeah. looking for George oh, yeah. Lopez. I lost him after the game five at the Texas at the in Texas, uh-huh. right? And like and in Houston, I couldn't find him. So I'm walking, and um, that dude from NBC is doing his interview on um, Fritz, right? Or Fred Ro- <laughs> Fritz Rogan or Fred Rogan? It was Fred Rogan. Fred Rogan. And then Fritz did weather. Yeah, yeah. 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 He passing by, and I'm like passing by. And I look like Bigfoot, bro. <laughs> Did you know that you were walking into a live shot? No. Right. It gets worse. They're like, I finally find out where he's at, and he's at the umpire's locker room. Mm -hmm. But I I go in, and I open the door. Bro, I see all the umpires of Game 5 butt naked, bro. Oh. And they're like, oh, dog. It was like a a wrinkled sausage, bro. yeah. Like a oh. saladito nuts. <laughs> Running around all night now and stuck to yeah, the name. You're, <laughs> you're out of here, they told me. What the hell was George doing in there? He was, uh, he was uh, in the green room drinking. Oh, okay. He was near there. Wow. He yeah, just near walked there. into the wrong room. I went, I went to the wrong bathroom. Really, yeah. though? Hey, man. Butt naked umpires, bro. Your Damn. dad never been to one of your comedy shows, they say? No. Okay, so your dad is still here with us? He's somewhere in East LA at a <laughs> oh, he's senior near. home. Really? But he's never. How long you been doing stand up? Since nineteen ninety five. Nineteen ninety five, and he's never no. seen. Never why? walked in, never stepped in, nothing. Was he proud of you with the accomplishments of I being guess. a comedian? He never told me. Damn. Yeah. So why he never walked in and checked on his son? I have no idea. Do you huh? have family from his side that still kind of reach out to you, and be like, "Hey, we're cousins." Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they come to my shows. Yeah. I, I saw some of them and. Um, in um, Utah, they're Mormons now. Oh okay. wow! And they came out to the show. They came out. We look exactly the same. Oh no! Yeah, when you see cousins, you know, yeah. like our, our my 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 dad's jeans, my his dad, they're real tight. So when you see one of us, you can really tell that oh, he's related to Felipe. So as soon as they <laughs> say it, you like, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah they, they, were, they were talking to me. Oh, the little fool. Right? Que onda, naco? I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. Hey, man, did you have a relationship with your dad? Yeah, you know, um, he hit me. I cried. Yeah, right. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn All right, this, 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 this probably going in the book. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Wow. Man, you know, when you were the, the first kid, the first kid, I don't care what nationality you are, your parents don't really know how to parent and parent you know mm. they're, they're new at this damn and you're new at it they're new so they don't know that they, they gotta give you water you know right 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 yeah yeah that mm-hmm. water thing that's it you find out later that's gotta, important they don't know they gotta hold you all the time right yeah that's important yeah because you like by the by the by the by the second by the third one they really know what to do you know right. how to be a parent so they know that they don't have to have a big old birthday party for them right yeah 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 <laughs> you know Just what i mean the birthday party is always for the first kid yeah but he gets treated real bad. But right. then the other kids, you know, they get, they get treated much better. But there's no really good birthdays for them. <laughs> yeah. huh. Like yeah. my birthday when take. I was two was lit. Really? No. If, if like when I was two, came. I see the photos of me when I was two. That party was lit. 
everybody in that photo looks like they're trying to bite their ear off. Right, you know right, I mean? right, right. The they're hell? partied out, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're like this, bro. Right? <laughs> My dad's eyes are oh, lit, oh, are man. shot up red. Hey, man, we, There's a cousin there with a black eye and blood in his shirt. <laughs> I don't know. I was, I was two, bro. Yeah, was, yeah. You got the eyes the size of golf balls, and There's bro. a picture of me hanging in a jumper full of boop. Right. So, <laughs> you know that party was lit. Yeah. When, the, when, the, when the party boy, is, the guys. birthday boy is full of crap. Eh? <laughs> hey, hey, man. So it's almost like the first pancake syndrome. Yeah, yeah You know man. what I'm saying? Heat up the skillet. First pancake. I heard that, man. But <laughs> but you got to think now, bro. Like, when you get into comedy, do you know that it's going to be a lifestyle for you? No, man. When I, I, was, th- I was talking to my wife, my, my friends, like, we didn't know that. When I started stand up, I just thought it was going to be like, you know, you do a joke, and then you come back home. Mm-hmm. You just do stand up mm-hmm. on in Hollywood or the Sunset Strip. You know, you do your thing, and you go home. I didn't know there was traveling involved right. later on. Right. Or I didn't yeah. know that Eddie Murphy did stand up forever, and then. He got on SNL. Yeah. I just thought he just did stand up, you know, like a regular guy and go home. Did uh-uh. you used to do stand up for free? You know, when you, when you All the first time. get in? Yeah. In the beginning, yeah. Open mic. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know what, I didn't know what, what getting paid was. Mm. Somebody gave her 20 bucks one time. I thought, you serious? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so was, I bombed. Was there, was there someone who like <laughs> took you under their wing though and kind of like showed you what the yeah, business uh, is about? A lot of comedians took me under the wing. Um, Carlos Oscar. Willie Barsana, mm. Rudy Moreno, Ra- Raul, Julia. No, Raul something, that Julia is an actor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were like, they saw that I was funny, that I had potential, and they took me to their shows. Hmm. And, I, you know, like, I was a young comic. I didn't know what to do, you know, like, so they didn't pay me. But I learned from watching them, you know. Why comedy? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How to, I don't know how to be a plumber. Right. I don't want to hit, burn, hurt, hurt my hand with a hammer. Right. Mm. Did you always hear, man? You're funny. You could be a comedian. Yeah. Yeah. My dad told me like when I was a kid, like he saw me like not pay attention or not be into what he's doing. You know, like my dad would be fixing his car. Like I never went out there to try to help or try to kick it. Right. Right. You know, I don't want to do that. Yeah. You, you get yelled that. at for not holding the light right. <laughs> <laughs> A keyway. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want to be out here anyway. I remember one time I dropped a, like when I uh, I dropped my, my dad told me to pass on my wrench and it fell on inside the car and it disappeared. We never saw it again. Oh, wow. <laughs> then when we drive here, click 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 click, and I would laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That Just can't me. find it. Up. Hey man, and you grew up in in and around Los Angeles. Yeah, I grew up in Boyle Heights, Pico Aliso housing projects. Aliso Village, Pico hey, Gardens. Hey, man, you know how when sometimes, man, the neighborhood, it, it could be small, but it looks so big because we don't know how to get out of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What took you out of the neighborhood? Well, my mom was very involved in looking for other stuff to do besides living in the projects. Gotcha. So she knew, like, where, um, oh, this park right here, they got field trips. They go to the zoo. Right. Or, or this, this, um. This uh, this uh, elementary school, they go on field trips. So whenever there's a field trip, my mom always signed it. So she was the program go. queen. Like, oh, yeah, there's a man. program over here. That's dope. So uh, YMCA, you know, they had a uh, a, day, a camp. So um, so we were, uh, my mom, mom knew about it, so I signed up. And half of the kids from the projects, we went to um, summer camp Uh-oh. with some richer kids from Montebello. Mm. Right. So it was Montebello <laughs> and the projects, bro. It was only projects, kids. And I, I threw in you, like, some of the kids who thought they were tough, You, when, as soon as we got to summer camp, we knew how t- tough they really were. They were all missing their fat-ass mom. Oh. You know what I mean? They were all crying, bro, like bitches, dog. Oh, crying, bro, like chillones, eh? <laughs> crying, dog. <laughs> like chillones. <bro. laughs> I was the only one in the project not crying, bro. I was happy, dog. We be away from my mom and dad. I wanted to be away from them from day one. Was like, this like a when, sleepaway camp? Sleepaway for like, a week. Is summer I love coming? it. They were crying, dog. <laughs> crying. I remember they had to send a bus to grab five chillones. Send them back really? to the projects. Oh to, my god! To, to bring them home? Yeah, they were sad. Oh, cry babies. This man. sounds like the YMCA camp that I used to volunteer with. Really? Like we was, would go away for a week in, in Big Bear and sleep away. Camp Round Metal. <gasps> 
No. Was that same your camp? camp? Same camp. No. Bunch of cry babies, right? Yeah, they're, they're Five year olds, <laughs> six year olds. Yeah. I was the kid who definitely. bitch ass. I, bitch ass. I was the kid who did, didn't get homesick, but I also didn't take a shower for like the whole week. Oh. There was a lot of poison ivy at that camp, right? There is a lot of Shit. poison, lot of poison ivy, ivy around that That's yeah. crazy. Same Look. camp. It was crazy, bro. Like, and then like in the That's funny. the project kids separated from each other too. Like Aliso was over here, Pico over here, <laughs> gang. <laughs> and how old are y'all at the time? Sa- seven through yeah. fourteen. <laughs> I mean, that was my first girl at Camp Round Meadow. Where? Oh. Where? I was thirteen. She was seventeen. Oh, yeah. Where did you guys yeah. make out? Over there behind um, the, one of the consular bungalows on top. Yeah. Is that what you made out to? No. Was it with Felipe? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. I was checking. Yeah, true. I didn't know. But it was funny because she had braces and I, I was like metal and I started kissing her. No, she walked me to my, 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 I was like 13. She walked me to my, uh, my, my, my cabin. Mm-hmm. Then I was, we were just standing there. I don't know what to do. So. She started kissing me, making out with me, and I say, "Whoa, tongue and everything." And then um, my friends started watching, and then they were like a line. They thought they were gonna be next. Oh, really? <laughs> no. like, like she opened up a kissing booth. Yeah, they were like, "Me too, me too, uh-huh. bro." Like those kids yeah, man. had the money to go. We had to sell donuts. Really? Yeah, that's true. Wow. Like we had the to fund have a fundraiser for mm-hmm. us, man. Uh-huh. Collect yeah, cans. Man. I, I went. I remember one sleepaway. Man, you might as well have had us in camp or juvenile hall the way they treated us. <laughs> oh, really? Damn. Oh, man, it was like from this mission. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It was, oh, it was the worst. It was the worst. I know man. what you're talking about. I think I, My brother went to that one. Really? And I think that guy from Martin was a counselor. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, 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 which, he passed which away. Which guy? Um, the, the tall one. Oh, the one yeah. that played Tommy? Tommy. Oh, Tommy man. was a counselor at that one you're talking about. My brother went to it. My brother, Angel... He's living in Mexico and I got deported him. But he said that, he goes, bro, I remember Tommy when he was a counselor. He goes, he used to roast us Amen. every night to go to sleep. <laughs> you, know, you know I'm not going to I'm nice. not gonna let your brother being deported uh, slip by me. What happened with your brother? Bro, my brother's an arch criminal, man. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. What is that mean? And this is your brother, brother? This is my brother. He doesn't know he's a criminal. He never had a MySpace, Yahoo account, nothing. No, he's not social media, nothing, dude. Mm. And this is your brother, brother, like yeah, blood my, brother. My brother, yeah. And and he was he he was born in Mexico, just like me. Okay, so y'all. Bo- oh, I remember you told us the story of getting here too. Mm-hmm. So they, how long ago did they deport him? Maybe like uh, seven years ago or twelve. Man, wait. wait. We, <laughs> don't, worry, don't feel bad for him. When did, doing de- all right. when, when did they deport him? <laughs> like twelve right. years ago. Before you said last seven comic. at first. At seven, but then I remember when I when I was on last comic standing, <laughs> they tried to they tried to not. They, well, anyways. Right. I was the last, <laughs> I was yeah. the last comic standing in 2010, uh-huh. and they do a very thorough, thorough, oh, thorough like background. background investigation, right? And yeah. then they came back and told me that I have two, two bench warrants. They're looking for me. You know, no. you were arrested like this year. And I said, man, I've never been arrested, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, it's a lot of topical. Like, I got a DA reject, you know. Uh, but, right. So they showed me the, they did the photos. And I said, let me tell you something right now, man. Um, oh, no. That's my brother. I know what it is. I'm oh. about to say. My brother stole my identity, and uh, he probably got arrested on my name. Did he for, for that. real? Yeah. For that, uh, for that thing. So I have, to go, I have to go find a photo for him somewhere. And the only photo I had with him holding his baby daughter. Oh, and you yeah. Know, like this, you and know, you had like to this. turn that when he hit. So I gave him that photo. I said, that's my brother right there. So then they matched him, and they let me go. They let, they let me on, on the board. show. Wow. Damn. Do you still keep in contact with your brother? Yeah, he's, in he's, Mexico? Been, he's been on my face on my What's Up Fool podcast. Oh, oh. but he had a good he had a good job over there in Mexico. Like he told me, like that um, most of the people that get deported from Los Angeles, the English speakers, all mm-hmm. the cholos, right. every essay, every gang member has a job when they come out when they get to Mexico because AT and T is hiring English speakers. Oh, I mean, so why should we teach these guys speaking English when we got these thugs? They already wow. know the lingo right. and they know the culture. Right. So, man, when you get a call from somebody like my probably my brother, what's up, fool? You got that money or what? <laughs> yeah, you kick in. You're like, hell yeah. Let right. me get you into the, another plan, homie. <laughs> yeah. The premium plan. Or, or don't let them be the ones that be the collector. You know, yeah. Hey, we got to come and get that. Like, no, I'll pay it right now. Yeah, yeah but what's right up, now. man? This is your homie here, Sam Likely. <laughs> hey, man. What's <laughs> Hello. Hey, man. How many times do you get spam likely? Yeah. And I, I answer. 
I answer be like, hello, spam likely. <laughs> yeah, he like, does, bro. Oh man, I I love talking to <laughs> to the scammers, bro. Uh, Sometimes you get one that like when I like when when I'm when I'm in, I'm in like in a conversation you're trying to get out of. Then the phone rings and they scam like, oh, I gotta get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exit strategy. Yeah. 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 No, they they calling me about one of my uh, cars. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my policy, my warranty is about to run out. <laughs> I get that one all the time. What happened with Tom Green's girlfriend? I don't know this story. Is there a story with Tom Green's oh, girlfriend? I was telling them that I met um, Tom Green at a birthday party for Eric Andre. Oh, I and love we're, Eric. We're too. chilling, right? And then like Felipe, I have a funny story for you. And he goes, what? Tom Green tells me, um, but, but he goes, he, first he says, I'm a big fan. I'm a mm-hmm. big fan of your comedy. Oh, thank you. How did you hear about it? Funny story. I was dating this Mexican girl, and we went to a barbecue with her, fa- with her family in, um, in Bakersfield. So we're partying, and, you know, Mexican barbecue, carne asada, pigs, you know, um, music, dancing, and everybody's drinking. We're eating a lot of food. We finally take the party in the living room. And then the dad says, "You want to watch some comedy?" And he puts my DVD from um, my la- my he watched my special. Mm-hmm. So here we are, man. Tom mm-hmm. Green, his his girlfriend's dad makes him watch um my one hour comedy special. <laughs> oh, okay, I was worried about that. Man, I, thought, <laughs> man, I <laughs> thought I was about to say, did this dude knock down Tom Green's girlfriend? <laughs> So he was with the girl at the time? He's yeah. not with her anymore, though, right? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, hey, the story stopped right there. He's what like, what, what, what torture, that. right? You're a comedian. You're going to watch another comedian? Right, yeah. <laughs> and especially like, after eating and being drunk. Like, yeah, we got to watch this. And then if you if you the only white dude there, you got to watch it. You got to watch yeah, it. Yeah, I guess. I guess this is what they do. What was the saying in the Italian? No, I was going to say, like, the dad telling him, you want to see a real comedian? Yeah, yeah oh. man. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. That's comedy. <laughs> what about, do comedians have groupies? Yeah, man. Like on the road, like groupies, like show up to the show. Hey man, this look in his face, like big. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they hot? No. Well, they are. <laughs> <laughs> They're married. <laughs> right. They're, They're all married. married. Like, I get like groups of people that say that um, they like showing me how many times they sh- they seen me. Right, right. Like, how there's many a photo of them, like, oh, mm-hmm. I've seen you six times, and they have all the photos on their phone. Or sometimes, you know, when they go, they walk up to me. And um, they're not together no more. Oh, man. Mm. And it's the husband by himself. Yeah. But this time he don't want to take a photo. He don't? Because he don't want his wife to know that he's with somebody now. Ah. So gotcha. you, so you got to play. You got to go along with it. Or the wife is single now, and she's taking like an extra sexy photo. Like her legs were up in the air. <laughs> or she's grabbing my hair. She's kissing my cheek. Hey, man. She goes, what are you doing this for? I want to get one over on my husband. Because <laughs> he couldn't get tickets to the hey, show. Hey, Felipe, when was the last time you shaved, if ever, all your hair off? 90s. I guess when I first started doing stand-up comedy, it was like his. Right. Damn. Just just straight ball. You know, getting pulled really? over, like driving from to Sunset <laughs> back to Boyle Heights. Hey, man. So you got to wear a hat or buy a... Grow my hair. Yeah. Mm. Hey, man, do people recognize you everywhere you go? They recognize me with or without a mask. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's the like, hair. Like, oh, that's why. Yep. If I saw you with a mask on, yes. I would definitely be like, hey, man, who is that? I, it almost looked like Paul Rodriguez it, it, on there. Oh, Orale. That's my son. Hey. He'll be child support. Hey, man. So <laughs> Netflix is a joke. Yes. Hey, man. So you got a show that's coming up. Out here, and and are are they doing your whole tour, or are they doing your just your LA dates? Just my LA date, yeah. April twenty ninth. Is it different to perform at home? Yes. Why? Because so many people show up, you know, they're yelling out stuff from the neighborhood, like right. you don't want to hear. Right. Mm-hmm. Like you might hear somebody go, "What's up, Batman?" <laughs> is, and is nobody knows what that is. Is that your old name? Yeah, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Batman! Tell him, Batman. Hey, man, where does the hood, <laughs> the name, hood Batman name Batman come from? I don't know, man. Like, you, I you know w- a, a creeper, or Conejo, mm-hmm. or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know a them. gangster. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. But Batman? Batman. Oh, because I used to wear Batman under rules because I couldn't oh. afford the real shirt. Right. Oh, gotcha. And I used to steal clothes from clotheslines, bro. Oh, really, though? Like, I, I, want, I, want, like I, want, I like rock shirts, but I didn't have any, so my friend and I, will, people would... We'll hang them on the clothesline. We'll just take them and wore them. Yeah, go get your wear them. Stone, There's something we really funny. You hear them. Hey, you wearing my sister's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
talk tight. Netflix <laughs> is a joke, man. You, uh, April 29th, you're going to be all the way live at Orpheum Theater. Dope. But the Netflix a is a venue. joke fest. And they're doing so much out here, bro. So many you know what I'm saying? Now. So are you working on a new special or anything yes, right now? Yes, I'm working on a new special. All my jokes on this special are all new. Mm-hmm. So you definitely got to protect them as far as, like, people not recording them and yeah. uh-huh. making sure that they shut them down. Something like I say I'm on the radio, but so what, you know? Right, right, right. Uh-huh. Hey, man, so with your podcast, how's your podcast coming along? My podcast. What's up, fool? What's up, fool? Mm-hmm. Podcast doing good. We have advertisements now. Right. Making yeah, some money. Yeah. Hey, man, would you, uh, would you continue down the podcast road? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to start another podcast. Uh-oh. With another friend, and I was, my wife and I are going to continue doing our podcast. We haven't done it in a while, but we're going to bring it back. Really, though? What was the wife? What was your podcast about? My wife is white and not Mexican, so it was called the Enchilada Casserole Podcast. That's dope. And we talk about um, personal stuff, you know, about our lives. Mm-hmm. That you Like, we won't talk on the podcast. Like, we try to have a baby, and we talked about um, trying to have a baby. And then we talked about the, our miscarriage that she had. Because mm. one of them was, like, um, funny one, you know. It was funny to us, but it was it sounded sad on the podcast because she was having a a miscarriage in the on the car while I was driving to a show, oh. and it was like blood everywhere. And it, it, I told her, it, it, it remember that scene from Reservoir Dogs? Oh <laughs> man, yeah, you can look back on it now. I ain't never yeah. there. You know, hey, does, does your wife make green bean casserole? No. Oh, okay, just was wondering. I don't even know what that <laughs> what is. Do you, what do you All like right. about being married? I don't oh. know. Oh, because you know what? That took a while. I, I've been because. What I like being married is that there's someone that can handle finances. Right. Because when you're young, when you're single, you don't know how to do that stuff. You know, you might have the money to pay the bills, but you don't pay them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, when you're married, at least you know the lights are going to stay on. Yeah, there, there's a structure there. <laughs> That's true. But you know what? Before I got married, sometimes I would come home, even in radio, and I would flip my switch, and my electricity was cut off. You know, but now that since I've been with Veronica, mm, it's always on. It's always on. Nice. Always I, remember on. Be, I remember being on the phone talking to my mom, and then the lights will go off. And I told my mom, Mom, did your lights go off too? No. <laughs> she like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it must be, a, hey, man. must be a Pacific rolling blackout. <laughs> hey, man, did you ever have, have your lights off or they cut your lights, and then you'll go and you have to open up your door? And see if anybody else's lights are cut off. Mm-hmm. Man, I would, I would walk around the like, neighborhood yeah. looking to looking to see everybody's lights are off. Yeah, They're man. And, yeah, and that's when you're like, oh, it's a blackout. Mm-hmm. But now you you kind of check everybody because growing up, our lights used to get cut off. And I think that's in me now to when the lights go off, I have to look out the window and be like, oh, okay, yeah, everybody's <laughs> yeah. lights off. It's a blackout. You we're know good. I mean? Yeah, yeah, we're good. But thank you for coming into yeah, the neighborhood man. once again, bro. Thanks for having me. What's up, fool? What's up, hey, man, were you at the Oscars this year? No, I was oh, okay. at my home. Oh, okay, all right, yeah, safe place. All right, just yeah, to make man. Sure. Were you watching them? Comedians. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. We, actually, two minutes right after it happened, I made a video, oh. a reenactment video. Oh Lord have mercy! And then, it was minutes. so fast that I, when we made that video so fast that people were telling me, "Damn, Felipe, the same thing happened to Will Smith." <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, man, as a comedian, do, do you feel like that's a green light for what you guys do as far as people coming on stage now? Do you feel like that opened up a floodgate? Oh, yeah, man. Like, uh, especially like some comedians who, who take it too far. Like, okay, when you're roasting somebody, okay, you roast them and everybody laugh. Right. You move on with your show. Mm-hmm. But there's some comedians who don't do that. Right. They get a big laugh and they keep and attacking they that dude. You. They keep stay attacking that you. dude. You know, now 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 it's personal, I feel like, you know. And that guy might want to go up on stage and right. punch the guy. I remember, man, there was a comedian I know from L.A. He was doing a show in Bakersfield and he sucks, you know. Oh, wow. He was fu- he's funny, but, you know, as a, around us, we always say, nah, he sucks. Right, right. But, uh, <laughs> but he was getting big, big laughs. We were hearing a commotion that he's killing it out and there. And you were on the same show? Yeah. We, okay. we, we opened the door to see what's going on. They were strangling him. <gasps> right here. <laughs> <laughs> this cholo lifted him up by the throat. And that's what people were pulling yeah. to. <laughs> oh. oh, And he my goes, God. Yeah, because he was making fun of his wife. Oh. <laughs> he goes, He was making fun of her eyebrows. Oh, oh my God. Man. Oh, 
no, she goes, no, what no. happens? Your, your wife's eyebrows look like McDonald's, eh? Oh. She's, all, she's, oh, she's like a Happy Meal. Everybody gets a turn, eh? Oh, wow. Hey, man, and so when you opened up the door, they were strangling him. They were strangling him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but the crowd was reacting. They were cheering, like they, bro. Oh, got you. It was like uh, it was like they were it was that they were wanting him to die, man. <laughs> hey, man! April 29th, it is going down. <laughs> Orphan Theater, April 29th. Second Unmasked show at it, ten o'clock. Oh, congratulations right. to you! On we that. have a special guest, Paul Rodriguez, Hello. on the show. Really nice. though? Yeah. Oh, that's dope for man. sure. Great, great night of comedy right oh, there, really? man. Orpheum Theater, <laughs> April 29th. Part of Netflix is a joke festival that's going down as well, man. Thank you for coming into the Thank neighborhood. Thank you for having bro. me. Man, our What's pleasure. What's up, fool? Hello, Felipe Esparza in the neighborhood. Big boy's neighborhood. Drop, drop.